Good day, everyone. Uh, today we are uh, going to discuss on an always on availability group failover issue. Once we try failing over always on availability group from JBSA G1 server to JBSA G2 server, the availability group goes into resolving mode and then we get an issue where it will not be able to complete the failover. So let's first look at the uh, always on availability group setup. Um, I'm just looking at the dashboard now. And what we can see is like we have um, uh, two node cluster uh, without shared storage. Basically, like we have a synchronous commit mode between servers JBSA G1 and JBSA G2. And right now what I'm seeing is like uh, everything seems to be synchronized well. And if you look at the availability group, it has got uh, two databases. One is JBDB and another one is JBSA G2. So let's try failing over this particular availability group, uh, which is uh, currently residing in JBSA G1. And this is the primary here. Let's try failing it over to uh, JBSA G2 and see what happens. So right now, if you look at it, uh, it's basically uh, configured as synchronous and uh, there should not be any data loss and everything seems to be like synchronized properly. So if you look at it here, failover readiness, it uh, basically shows as like no data loss. So I think we shouldn't be having any issues. Let's try failing over and see what happens. Starting the failover now, right click on the viability group and click on failover and click on next here so everything seems to be okay no data loss here so let me click on next then let me try connecting to the secondary instance let me click on next and then yeah everything seems to be okay so let me click on finish here more details and uh, it is trying to fail over a manual failover is uh, being initiated here let's see what happens It seems like uh, taking good amount of time. I think like uh, we waited for like more than two minutes now. So let me look at the uh, status of the availability group one more time. Let me minimize this. Let me refresh the primary server, also the secondary server. Let me look at the availability group status here. Everything seems to be okay. Let me check the databases too, all good. Let me check on the secondary server, which is JBSAG2. And if I see here, oh, it seems like the availability group is in resolving state. Uh, as expected, the database seems to be like having some issue here. Uh, okay, let's check if uh, uh, there is a failure. Yes, as expected, uh, the failover has failed. So let's look at the error. So the error basically tells like fail to bring availability group JBAG online. The operation timed out. If this is a Windows server failover clustering availability group, verify that the local WSFC node is online. We know it is online. Then verify that the availability group resource exists in the WSFC cluster. If the problem persists, you need to drop the availability group and create it again. Yep. This seems to be like uh, the last resort, but uh, right now, let's close this. Let's look at the SQL Server error log on JBSAG2, which is our secondary. So right now, I'm connected to the secondary server JBSAG2. Let's look at the SQL Server error log. Let's look if there is anything interesting. Uh, okay, yep. So this seems to be, there seems to be some problem here. Okay, so if I look at it here, it basically tells the state of the availability replica in availability group has changed from secondary replica to resolving pending failover. The state changed because of a user initiated failover. Yes, we know that we performed that manually, but after that, as soon as we initiated the failover, we are able to see that there is a login failed for user JBS wiki, which is our domain and the dollar account, the computer dollar account. So what I understand is like 
after we initiated uh, the failover there is a login failover for uh, the secondary server dollar account which is jbs ag2 dollar account and after that there is a connection timeout error uh, which basically tells like a connection timeout has occurred on a previously established connection so basically the secondary is not able to connect to the primary so it seems like since it is an uh, dollar account uh, which doesn't have access so it seems like um, the NT authority system is not uh, properly added or maybe like it is not having proper privilege. So let's look at it. Let's see if NT authority system account is there. It is not here. So let's create one. Uh, so I'm basically going to create a login here and then provide uh, necessary privilege. First one, let me create the login and then provide required access. The first one is like um, alter any availability group. Next one is connect to SQL and then view server state. So let me provide that. Yep, it's all done. So let's refresh uh, both the primary and the secondary. And then let's look at the availability group. Uh, it seems to be okay now. Okay, awesome. So let's look at the availability group dashboard also once just to make sure everything is okay. So when I, yep, uh, when I look at the dashboard, everything seems to be okay. There is no data loss. Everything seems to be okay. So let's try failing over this time. Uh, so right clicking on the availability group and clicking on failover. And then I'm just going to try performing the same task as last time i'm basically going to fade over click on next uh, everything seems to be okay no data loss click on next and then click on finish let's see what happens this time We're clicking on more details seems to be taking little time but this time it completed fine so everything seems to be okay let me close the dashboard let me do a refresh here and then yeah let's look at the dashboard one more time so everything seems to be okay so right now i'm able to see like uh, everything is synchronized properly so right now uh, jbs ag2 is the primary everything seems to be okay thanks for watching have a great day bye